Demonstrations since then have been peaceful, with protesters demanding change and justice for George Floyd. Demonstrations, demonstrators say that they'll be back out tonight and this weekend. Local 12's David Winter has been talking with several organizers about their plans. David. This is the first George Floyd event of the weekend. It started about 4 o'clock. It's a sit-in here at the Hamilton County Courthouse. You can see there are about 200 or so people here. It's one of uh, the first of many that are allowing people to express their feelings about the death of George Floyd in many different ways. Of the dozen or so events this weekend inspired by the killing of George Floyd, only one lasts all weekend and only one involves one person. Parole officer Kevin Bonecutter is standing and fasting from now until 6 p.m. Sunday outside St. James Episcopal Church. Inequality and injustice exist because good people sit back and remain silent. And the spirit drove me and said, it's time to stand forward, stand up and demand justice and equality from African-American brothers and sisters. And only one, the Men in Suits Justice Walk, will include semi-formal attire. We're used to being seen are labeled as thugs and hoodlums and things, so I wanted to be known that we're here as well. You know, everybody, yes, I have piercings, yes, I have tattoos, um, a variety of things, but there's more to me. There's more to me than the gym shoes, the saggy pants. Of course, there will be your standard walks and protests as well, each one important and personal for those who attend. Um, I have black family members who uh, actually live up in, in Detroit and, you know, they're scared. Um, they're, they're, they're anxious, they're nervous, and uh, we want to fight on their behalf. You know, I have students that I love, you know, who I'm worried about their safety right now. And finally, one march will not be a march at all, the George Floyd Memorial Run. His death was, really came on the heels of several tragic events, including Breonna Taylor and including Ahmaud Aubrey. And um, it is just extremely disappointing and frustrating. And this is my outlet and it's my way to express how I feel about the situation. No matter how you choose to express your feelings this weekend about what happened to George Floyd and all of those who preceded him, you definitely will not have your lack of options. I did contact the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office and the Cincinnati Police Department to ask if they wanted to comment. Neither wanted to participate in this story. Reporting live from the county courthouse, David Winter, back to you. All right, thank you, David. Another protest is planned this evening at Washington Park and over the Rhine to bring attention to the death of Breonna Taylor. She was killed by Louisville officers who went to the wrong home when they served a warrant.